I want to say this to you. When I think about legacy, what better way to leave a legacy than to be connected with a trustworthy person? I never had to worry about you cheating. I never had to worry about you with another man. I never had to worry about you doing anything that was, you ain't never been like that. My past was so distorted from the stuff I did, I thought you were the same way. And God says, no. That's a prop verse 31. your husband I'm going to lay my hands on you and anoint you as executive pastor of this church you are about to give some leadership and some structure to this ministry and it's about to explode because you're in the right position I want the church to understand this clearly do not look for her style in me. Don't look for her to whoop and holler and shout. That's what God gave me. But what he gave her is one of a kind. If y'all thought y'all saw something, you wait until this jewel gets up here and opens her mouth and walks around and teaches and declares the word of the Lord. Oh! As your husband, I am so thankful for you. And I know sometimes you don't understand what I'm doing, what God is doing. Hear me, hear me, Elisa. This is not. I didn't plan this. We talked about it. But God said, today is your day. Ain't no more running. I'm calling you to one of the highest offices in this church. Woman of God, because I trust you. Lift your hands. There's about to be a glory. It's about to be a glory. Everyone pray. Everyone pray. Calling her forth. We're calling her forth. We're calling her forth. Talk about a ruby. Talk about a ruby. We're looking at a ruby. We're in the presence of a Jew. Receiving the anointing to this office. I'm not laying my hands on you in this moment as how you think. This is the Lord Himself laying His hands on you. The anointing of God is about to fall on you. This is going to be so powerful. You're going to be instrumental in bringing your brother to Christ. His mind. But your mom saw it in you. Your grandmother saw it in you. You were raised.